Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Operation Research. And this is lecture number 2.7 in Transportation Model. In the earlier six lectures in the Transportation Model, we discussed the minimization type of problem where the objective was to minimize the overall transportation cost. And here in this lecture, we are going to discuss the transportation model. We find the optimum solution for maximization type of problem. Uh, the transportation model originally uh, the solution procedure is only for minimization type of problem, but the solution can be extended uh, to the maximization type of problem if the matrix is, uh, is profit which is to be maximized. And also we discussed the tranship transshipment type of problem. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to uh, solve problem in the transportation model. We recall the optimum solution to the transportation model procedure. Uh, first, we have to find the basic feasible solution using the vehicle approximation method. Then we have to uh, check for the allocation. Number of allocations are equal to m plus and minus 1 and they are independent. So, independent means the uh, solution, the allocation should not form closed loop among themselves. Then we have to check for the optimality. If the condition for optimality is uh, satisfied, uh, then the basic solution is optimum. If it is not satisfied, then we have to use the UV method to iterate the next solution. Uh, once we get the next solution using the UV method, then once again we have to go for checking of optimality and continue the procedure till we uh, obtain the optimum solution to the transportation problem. So, here the problem number 10, example 10, uh, solve the following transportation transportation problem to maximize the profit. The element in the matrix are profit in rupees per unit. So, the there are three sources with the supply capacity S1 equal to 100, S2 equal to 30 and the S2 equal to 20 and there are four destination with the demand of D1 equal to 40, D2 equal to 20, D3 equal to 60 and D4 equal to 30. And the unit costs are given, uh, it is a maximization type of problem, the unit cost given here, they are the profit. So, by transporting item from the source to the destination, uh, this is the, the profit uh, for a particular transportation. We have to convert the problem into minimization type of problem. To convert the problem into minimization type of problem, we have to identify the maximum cell value. So, among the uh, 12 cell values, the maximum cell value is 54. Now, the 54, all the other cell values we have to subtract from the maximum value. So, for example, first cell 54 minus 50. So, here 54 minus 35, 54 minus 32, 54 minus 43, 54 minus 54, 54 minus 45, 54 minus 36, 54 minus 40, 54 minus 48, 54 minus 48, 54 minus 38 and 54 minus 30. So, if we subtract and we write and this problem will become minimization type of problem. And it is converted into minimization type of problem. Now, the matrix is this is the matrix. So, C11 equal to 4, C12 equal to 19, C13 equal to 22, C14 equal to 11, C21 equal to 0, T C22 equal to 9, C23 equal to 18, C24 equal to 14, C31 equal to 6, C32 equal to 6, C33 equal to 16 and C34 equal to 24. Now, the total supply and the total demand are equal to 150. So, it is a balanced type of problem. So, we can proceed further. And we have to find the basic feasible solution using the Virgil's approximation method. And for the Virgil's approximation method, we have to find the difference in the row and the column the, with the minimum cell value and the next minimum cell value. For the first row, the minimum cell value is 11, next minimum cell value is 11, the difference is 7. The next row, 0 and 9, the difference is 9. Third row, 6 and 16, the difference is 10. And the first column, 0 and 4, the difference is 4. Second column, 9, 6 and 9, the difference is 3. Third column, uh, 16 and 18, the difference is 2. And uh, fourth column, 14, 11 and 14, the difference is 3. Now, the highest cell value is 10. So, this is entering. So, all the source point, the source point capacity is 20. The lowest cell value here, it is 6. We take this 6, the 20, the demand 20 is completely satisfied. So, this is completely exhausted. Next value is 9. So, here the supply capacity is 30. 
and the here the lowest cell value is 0 so the demand is 40 so the 30 is completely supplied here and the balance is 10 parent balance demand is 10 the next highest value is 7 this is entering the supply capacity is 100 and uh, the cell value lowest cell value is 4 where the demand is 10 so the 10 is satisfied next here the lowest value 11 the demand is 30 this 30 is satisfied and 60 is satisfied so all the supplies are exhausted all the demands were satisfied so the problem allocations are made now the total transportation cost c11 x11 plus c13 x13 plus c14 x14 plus c21 x21 plus c32 x32 substitute numerical value is 50 into 10 original cost matrix 50 into 10 plus 32 into 60 plus 43 into 30 plus 54 into 30 plus 48 into 20 equal to rupees 6290. Then check for optimality. The number of allocations should be equal to m plus and minus 1 which is 3 plus 1 minus 1 equal to 6 but the actual allocations are only 5. One more allocations to be made with the lambda in the cell 3 1. So 3 1 this cell we have to take uh, to the minimum cost and you should not form the close rule. So now we make the allocation, the yellow color shad is the new allocation and it should not form the close rule. Now there are seven allocations, there are uh, six allocations here. Now we, we go for optimality test. Now you write the uh, cell values of the uh, allotted cell. So 4, 0, 6, 6, 22 and 11 and you assign the row as u1, u2, u3 and column as v1, v2, v3 and v4. And for the values given here, we find the u1 value. So, v1 equal to, we fix v1 equal to 0, u1 become 4, u2 become 0 and u3 become 6. And when u3 is 6 and the, for this, v2 becomes 0 and uh, this becomes 18, v3 becomes 18 and uh, v4 becomes 7. Now, next we have to find out the unallotted cell, values of uv values of the unallotted cell. So, the white color cells are unallotted cells. For the unallotted cells, 4 plus 0 equal to 4, 0 plus 0 equal to 0, 6 plus 18 equal to 24, 0 plus 7 equal to 7, 6 plus 7 equal to 30. So the unallotted cells are written. Then now we have to subtract the this UV value of the unallotted cell from the original cost matrix. So here 19 minus 4, 9 minus 0, 18 minus 18, 14 minus 7, 16 minus 24, 24 minus 13. And the values are 15, 9, 0, 7, minus 8 and 11. Now the cell, this is the last matrix is called the cell evaluation matrix. So the cell evaluation matrix possesses the negative value. The solution is not optimum. Then we have to iterate towards the optimum solution. So we write the original cost matrix. Now we write the original cost matrix, so original allotment, original first basic feasible solution. Now here we have to make the allocation. So here we have to make the allocation, put a tick mark here. So starting from here, you have to start the, uh, draw the lines. So from here, draw, draw the horizontal line and take a turn, draw the vertical line, take a turn, draw the horizontal line and once again, you close the loop. The, this is called as the, the loop you have to form. Uh, the condition for the loop, the corner of the loop should fall on the allotted set. Now we have to make allocation here. So here it is minus. So here it is lambda. We allot lambda here. Here it is minus lambda. We add. We have to make it horizontally and vertically uh, balance the system, balance the allocation. So I add lambda here. I subtract lambda here. So here subtract lambda. Here we have to add lambda. And here again we have to subtract lambda. Now the new allocation. So there is no adding and subtracting lambda will not make any difference. So 10, 60, 30. 20 and here there is no allocation now 20 and here it becomes lambda the lambda is shifted to the uh, two cells actually this is a, a 3 1 it is shifted to 3 3 now this is the new allocation now we have to second write the second feasible solution now the second feasible solution the cost of the second feasible solution c11 x11 uh, c13 x13 plus c14 x14 plus c21 x21 plus c32 x32 but uh, uh, the, there is no uh, change. So, because this uh, value is very insignificant, uh, we cannot uh, uh, calculate. So, the allocation 50 into 30, 10, 32 into 60 plus 43 into 30 plus 54 into 30 plus 48 into 20 plus this equal to 6200. So, this is the transportation cost. 
Now, this solution, once again, we have to check for the optimality. So, the optimality test of the second solution. So, V1 equal to 0. So, we write the cost matrix of the allotted cell. We take V1 equal to 0. You find the V1, U2, U3, V1, V2, V2, V3, V4 values. So, for this 4, U1 becomes 4 and this 0, U2 becomes 0. When U1 equal to 4, for this 22, V3 becomes 18. When E3 is 18 and for this 16, U3 becomes minus 2. And when U3 becomes minus 2, V2 becomes 8 and the V4 becomes 7. So, we calculate V1, we fix V1 equal to 0, we calculate V2, V3, V4, U1, U2 and U3. U3. Now, we calculate the uh, cell values of the unallotted cell. So, these are all the white color cells are the unallotted cell. We calculate the cell value 4 plus 8, 12, 0 plus 8, 8, 0 plus 18, 18, 0 plus 7, 7, minus 2 plus 0, minus 2, minus 2 plus 7, 5. Now, if we can subtract the uh, white color cell, actually uh, cell values of the unallotted cell uh, from the original cost matrix 19 minus 12, 9 minus 8, 18 minus 18, 14 minus 7, 6 plus 2 and uh, 24 minus 5. And this last matrix is called the cell evaluation matrix where the answer is 7, 1, 0, 7, 19 and 8. So, there is no negative value. The cell evaluation matrix does not possess any negative value. So, the second solution is optimum. So, the second allocation is optimum. Uh, that is the optimum solution for the problem and the amount to cost is so, rupees 6920. So, these are all the, this is how we have to solve the maximization type of problem. So, we convert in, convert the maximization, maximization type of problem into minimization type of problem. Then we apply the algorithm uh, for solving uh, minimization of transportation model. The next topic is transshipment problem. Normally in the earlier discussion in all the problem, uh, there were only source and the destination. Uh, the items or the commodity or the equipment are transported from the source point to the destination point. But the majority of the uh, product, majority of the commodities or the item in any, uh, any company, they have district wise uh, distribution points. So, from the factory, they uh, transport the item, transport the commodity to the district wise uh, distribution point. From the distribution point, it is distributed to the dealers uh, or the selling point. So, the source or the factory is the source point and the selling point or the uh, dealer, they are the destination. So, here the source point, if you look at the source point, there are only so two sources, there is only outgoing arrow. So, the commodities are taken only from the source point. If you take the destination, there is only incoming arrow. So, the it is only supplied to the destination point. But in between these two, we have the uh, intermediate point. That the intermediate point is called as transshipment point or district wise distribution points where, where we have incoming arrow and outgoing arrow. So, this is intermediate point where the items are stored and they distributed to the destination uh, from the transshipment point. But here, we, for this kind of transportation, transshipment type of problem, we have to split the uh, transshipment problem into two types of problem. One is from source to the transshipment, another one is from transshipment point to the destination point. And we have to apply the same procedure, whatever we discussed earlier, to solve uh, the problem, to find the uh, minim uh, minimum transportation cost from the source to the transshipment point, point or from the transshipment point to the destination. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. Uh, you may find operation research book. You, you refer to the book for additional problem. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel. Use the videos for your better learning. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can write to my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture on the subject operation research. Until then, bye.